in this chapter, we get more news about the Mother Flame, what it looks like. We also get more news from Vegapunk's message, as well as more Sun God Nika and Joy Boy lore. So this should be a really excited chapter, and I'm excited to cover it with you guys. What's up, everybody? My name is Slim, and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time, but... If you do like my video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Any support and all support is greatly appreciated. Chapter 1114, The Wings of Icarus. The chapter begins previously uh, where the last one ends. The chapter begins with more reactions around the world. The Marines are in shamble and disarray, and then Akainu is ticked off. We then get the reveal Doflamingo discussing this news with Magellan. I'm excited to see Doflamingo again. We then continue back to Egghead Island with even more reveals, as Vegapunk hypothesizes that the sea levels will rise one meter due to an earthquake, and he says he can prove that this isn't from a natural disaster, but actually from uh, none other than the Mother Flame is what I'm believing. That's what he, That's how he's going to prove it. Saturn goes to try and take care of the Denton Mushy, but comes across the Mother Flame. We then get to see the Mother Flame. It's a small flame being kept in a huge tank, similar to how Vegapunk's head is stored. Vegapunk continues and talks about how 900 years ago, he flew too close to the sun. I'm curious if this is implying that Vegapunk is immortal. I don't think it is. I, I'm not sure what he means by he 900 years ago flew too close to the sun but hopefully it's clarified in this chapter and the translation is just what's skewing what this actually is meaning uh emu is at mary Joa and is reacting silently to all the news vegapunk then declares his second sin is the continued research of the poneglyphs and the ancient history he confirms that he doesn't know everything but he begins with what he does in fact know. As Luffy attacks Warker in Gear 5, once again, Vegapunk reveals a central figure born in a certain advanced kingdom 900 years ago. He possessed a stretchy body that he used to fight, just like the sun god Nika from Elbaf. The name of that man is Joy Boy. He was the man who took to the seas and became the first pirate in history. So we got more news on the lore of Sun God Nika and Joy Boy confirming they're two separate people. Uh, or, you know, one's a god and one's a person. Uh, Sun God Nika is from Elbaf and Joy Boy doesn't look like he's from Elbaf. But probably, um, I'm, I'm assuming, okay. So Joy Boy looks like he is from an advanced kingdom. So the ancient kingdom a long time ago is what it looks like Joy Boy's from. And then Sun God Nika is from Elbaf. And I assume Sun God Nika existed before Joy Boy. Um, so before 900 years ago, since Joy Boy's powers, I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. I assume Joy Boy's powers ca came from Sun God Nika since the fruit is called the Nika Nika fruit. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. But we got news that Joy Boy is the first pirate in history. I want to know if we're going to get reveal of what he looks like. If we do, this is going to be a crazy chapter. But I want to know what you guys think about the spoilers so far. Uh, I'm super excited and I can't wait to see this chapter in action. Uh, there is one note about this chapter since this is taking place in Golden Week. Uh, we should have a break after 1114. Uh, so spoilers for 1014 come out this week. Chapter is going to come out next week. Uh, then we're going to get a break. Uh, and then chapter 1115 after that. So otherwise, it says it's chapter 1114 uh, coming out this weekend. And then a break. And then another break. And then chapter 1115. And then after that, it looks like we're going to get back to a regular schedule. But if you do like my comment... Uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll have more One Piece content coming soon. Thanks so much. Peace.